Just gone midday. We're in the bowels of the Liverpool Convention Centre. Trying to get in to see the big speech by the Shadow Chancellor, Ed Balls. As usual, it's very spinal tap. These are the darkest, most dangerous times, certainly in my lifetime. Britain, the world, is facing Dramatic the speech. of something Fair play, that most Britons have never read about other than in the history books, a decade of economic stagnation. And George Osborne's economic plan is hurting, but conference, it's just not working. is a better way. Obligatory standing ovation. Slightly hesitant finish. A lot of tactics, not a whole load of strategy. Shouldn't we be talking about the fact that, you know, the economic approach we've had for the last 30 years, which George Osborne is carrying on, is fundamentally broken? I don't think that's the case. It's not... You don't think the sort of free market model we've had for the last 30 years is proving bust? I think at the moment the most, most important thing is the cuts that are not helping us get out of this recession. Well, far be it from me to be critical of your average conference delegate, but they're easily pleased here. So if the five-point plan was implemented now, yeah. that would make a very big difference to confidence. In terms of overall restructuring of the economy, you're not going to sort that out in one speech, John? You're not? No, but to give it a sort of slightly more obvious hint that that's the way people are thinking. There's a whole section in there on securing long-termism. No, but it wasn't using quite a dramatic language on that line. Oh, right, so it's not an issue of what he said, it's how he said it. I'm a drama addict, maybe that's it. <laughs> Your reaction to big speeches like that is often sort of mired in ambivalence, and though I would like to hear a more umphy message about the economic fundamentals, I can also see the Labour Party's essential calculation, which is that they've got to win back the public's trust before they can have a serious argument about anything. A ball speech, £2 fundraising for Labour students. Fundraising for Labour students. Three minutes at the Eon stand. <laughs> Where is he? I'm told that balls is nearby, but I can't see him. Oh, he's behind us again now. We're not stalking you, I promise. <laughs> Maybe this is yet another interview about the death of neoliberalism. Do you want to go and hear Liam first? What Give us two that? minutes. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait here. Seven Just minutes. Seven All right, minutes. seven minutes. I'll hold you to that. See you in seven minutes. Seven minutes? Well, there, I've been blown out again, jilted even, this time for Liam Byrne. Right, I suppose we better kill some time at the Jury's Inn, more specifically somewhere we know as the Guru Bar area, a sprinkling of intellectuals there, and uh, usually a slightly greater sense of affirmative of ideas than you get in the convention centre. I fear that what Ed Balls, who's a brilliant politician, I admire him greatly, but I feel all he's offering is, is Gordon Brown plus two. You know, it's kind of uh, creating once more sort of a welfare state and relying on the market to just return. And we feed the market and cream it off for welfareism. That's over. We're at the end of 30 years of sort of 